In this video, we're going to go over how to add a product as a pre-order product or how to set up a product as a pre-order product on your WooCommerce store. You see, I run a clothing company and my customers have been asking me quite a bit about finally offering swim trunks, okay? So what did I do? I got to work, I got designs for these swim trunks, I got samples for them, and I'm just about to start production. The problem is, is that I don't know how many I should produce and how many customers will purchase. Well, offering my swim trunks as a pre-order would be a great way to get sales, fund production, and generate buzz. You also can see market demand for it. So let's say I got, I offered a pre-order, you know, two weeks from now for these swim trunks and whatever, a hundred people bought the swim trunks. And that'd be a great way for my first production run to use those sales to fund that production run for those first 100 obviously people might still purchase that after those first you know two weeks or that first window but i can fund my first production run so that's why it's great about pre-orders they also generate buzz and overall just a great way if you look at a lot of products like whatever the playstation 5 i'm not a gamer but uh you know iphone or whatever you have you know pre-orders do work and yeah so that's where we're going over but first, if this is your first time here, make sure to click that like box and hit that subscribe and all the links in the description be found in the description box below. To go on to this, some questions to ask. So what product do I wanna offer as a pre-order? When will you start accepting pre-orders? Like, you know, what date do you wanna accept them? Send out to your email list perhaps like, hey, my swim trunks just dropped, pre-order now. And do you wanna charge customers up front or when it ships? and also what date will the product ship? So customers wanna know this, and I think you should also be upfront about this. So, you know, you look at something like Kickstarter or Indiegogo or some of those platforms. And overall, just with pre-orders, you wanna, you know, put the correct estimated date. You don't wanna bug your customers. You know, they might be okay if it's delayed by two weeks, but you know, don't have it be, you know, six months or three months. Try to be as transparent about that. And here are the payment gateways. So you can choose if you wanna do upfront or upon release. If you do it upfront, you can use any payment gateway, but if it's upon release and you wanna charge those customers when, the product finally ships and you want your customers to enter in their payment details when they first check out you would have to use one of these supporting payment gateways on the window right now if not there's an option to pay later which basically would allow your customers to place the order for the pre-order and then when it launches they would get an email to complete their purchase i always recommend with this to do the upfront you want to get that money to fund production or just for other things and then it doesn't create a scenario where someone pre-ordered it and then you, you know, you thought you were gonna fulfill that order to that customer and then they didn't, you know, didn't end up paying for it, even though they got an email notification. You know how things get. So let's jump into it. I put the link in the description box below, but go grab this plugin, WooCommerce pre-orders. You can try to customize and create your own solution, but WooCommerce pre-orders, the plugin, it's you know, something I'd recommend. So let's go set this up. And if I go to my WordPress dashboard, I can go to plugins, add new, and I can upload a plugin, WooCommerce pre-orders. I can install it. Cool, so we have that. And so for this situation, I am going to add those Swim Trunks products. It's about to be you know, launched. I got my launch date, so I'm gonna add the product. I could be on a testing site or a staging site like this and adding the product just to test and figure out and get all the kinks out of the way. So I'm gonna go to my products and I'm gonna do exactly just that. I'm gonna add those swim trunks that are about to drop. These are some really high quality swim trunks, everyone. So I'm gonna do whatever, $75. They're recycled, really cool design or made out of recycled materials, really cool design, I have pockets. If you guys don't know, I'm not, I don't actually have a clothing brand, but anyway, so I'm gonna set this image, this is just for testing and doing tutorials. So I'm gonna set this image and then I'm gonna eventually publish the product. So to offer this as a pre-order, I'm gonna scroll down to pre-orders I'm gonna click enable pre-orders for this product. Now, if you have like a digital product, you know, it's the same thing, works the same way. And I'm gonna launch this. I'm just gonna say, so you can choose any time and date. Let's say I was gonna go to, you know, I wasn't gonna launch until April. You know, some things might be, you know, stretched out, but I want these swim trunks to be, you know, dropping right before spring break. Um, so maybe, you know, some of my target market, they may be going on spring break. And I was thinking about March 1st, but I'm gonna do actually January, you know, right after Valentine's Day. That could be a good time when, you know, people are thinking about, 
the spring, especially if you live in a cold environment like this. Anyways, so I'm gonna do that. And this right here is like offer a pre-order fee. So if you want to, you know, if you're gonna do the upon release method and you wanted to charge someone like $5 just to have them commit to $5 or a partial fee, you could do that. With me, I wanna do upfront. I wanna get that cash right away and just know that when I'm producing 100 units that there's gonna be 100 people that are actually gonna purchase it and people can show that with their dollars or their payment method. So no pre-order fee, I'm gonna enable this and I'm just gonna make sure I have the price set, add a description, whatever. So I'm just gonna publish this product. Okay, so we published it. And if I come here, I can see that my customers can see when the product's gonna like actually be released or shipped. So for me, this product item will be released February 15th. That seems a little misleading. I wanna say what's product will be ships on February 15th. But if you're doing a digital product, it might be different. So I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna go to the dashboard, I'm gonna go to WooCommerce settings and it asks me to leave. And I'm gonna click pre-orders. So on this tab, I will be able to see like, you know, button text. I can update this from like pre-order now to, you know, anything I wanna say. I wanna do pre-order now, leave the defaults. And right here, the single product message, I'm gonna update this to ships on availability date. So I'm just gonna do that. Cool, and I also could update this ships on availability date and add the availability time if it's gonna be a specific time of the day. And this might make more sense for something that's a digital product, like exactly when it's gonna drop, like an album, it's gonna drop on at midnight. Anyways, so I have this, and let's say I wanna go through a test checkout just to see how this works. And right now I am using one of their supported payment gateways, but it's upfront, so I'm gonna go through this checkout process. Enter all these things, enter in a test credit card. Cool, so I have WooCommerce subscription, that's why it's asking me this, so I'm just gonna, that's already on the site, so that's why it's asking to save it. But I'm gonna place my pre-order. So cool, this order's being placed, pre-order has been made, my customer will receive an email about you know their pre-order, right? I don't have a logo right here on my test site, cool. And then from there, I can go to the settings and I can go to, you know, pre-orders if I wanna see all the pre-orders that have happened. And I also have this actions tab where I can, you know, change the release date. So let's say I said February 15th, but there was problems in production. So I could easily click change the release date and I could update my swim trunks to, you know, maybe they're not shipping till the first. And then I could do like that. So I could change the release date and the customer automatically get an email that the release date was changed. And maybe I want to also send them that change of a release date. And then I also want to email these specific customers, you know, hey, we're going through production delays with X, Y, or Z. Like they're gonna be here on the 1st instead of the 15th. So you could easily send that, you know, you could type something up and then send it and it's gonna to send to your customers and notify them. So, and then when an order is ready to be complete, you can let them know that the order has been complete. You also could choose not to send this if you are going to complete the order and then just have, if the customer are to be getting like a shipping notification that their order is shipped. So there's a bunch of different ways you can do it. I also can choose to cancel a pre-order if something you know didn't go right and that customer's order wanted to be canceled. If you took payments up front, you should always refund the customer's orders. You don't want to be misleading. And from there, let's say we want to do the charge upon release, don't charge up front method. So if I go back to my product and I go down to pre-orders, I can click enable pre-orders for this product. And I want to do it upon release, that's the default. And if I do that and we go through another test checkout scenario right here. So if I go through this checkout process, it's gonna show me the option to pay now or pay at a later date. So if I put in my credit card details right now, it's not gonna charge those credit card details until I officially release the plugin and update the order to complete it or when the release date happens and we know it's gonna ship. And customers also see this pay later option. So if you do have a, a credit card or a payment method that supports automatic recurring payments or supports pre-orders, you should, I think you should disable the pay later. It could just lead to a scenario where a customer doesn't purchase. So if you do have that, go to your WooCommerce dashboard, click settings, click payments, and scroll all the way down to pay later right here. I'm just gonna bring this to the top just to make it cleaner. And you can edit this pay later option. 
and you can disable it, right? And if you disable it and I come back to my checkout, if I do have a payment method that supported payment gateways, I just give them the option to pay at a later date and enter their card details. Now, if you don't have a payment that is supported, you you know have to do the, the pay later option and the pay later option will just email your customers when it's released to make payment. So that's all for today, guys. I really would recommend doing the pay up front. I think it makes the most sense, but your scenario could change. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like, that subscribe, and all the links in this video can be found in the description box below. Give me a thumbs up and and see you guys next time I'm trying to do more content in 2021 and yeah hope you enjoyed it peace out